Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you live. I want to give God thanks to every one of you right now at the sound of my voice that is actually tuning in this morning. I want to thank God for you one more time. It's a pleasure. And so as I'm thanking God for you, I want you to know that God is about to transform your life. And actually this morning, we actually want to talk about heaven and elaborate and the magnificent God and the amazing God and that God prepare a place for you that is called heaven. I don't know what you're going through this morning. But I just want to tell you that there is hope. And the hope that you got is an eternal hope. The hope that you got is a joy that passes all understanding. And so the enemy will not devour you this morning. The enemy will not have power over you this morning. Because you are a son and a child of the king. You are a son and a child of the king. And so this morning we're giving God thanks. For every one of you that is a son and a child of the king. God love you one more time. Tuning in with the man of God and the global Christian telecast. I believe God has something great in store for you and magnificent for you. I believe that the enemy been trying to fight you and trying to stop you and trying to block you. But it won't work because you are a child of the king. All right, all right, all right. We're going to talk about heaven today in a few words. Good morning, Pastor. Uh, good morning, Evangelist um, Jacqueline. Um, good morning, every one of you. But today we're going to talk about heaven because we are living in a time and a season where we got to remind ourselves that our destination is not in the earth realm. Please share this video. Is not just in the earth realm. Please share this video. Is not just in the earth realm. Your destination is not just in the earth realm. Remember Jesus and make your promise. Many people talk about heaven. They compare heaven as they, they describe it as the I place, uh, the holy place paradise and they describe hell as the underworld low place and stuff like that but heaven is a place where god live hallelujah and not only that god live there but anywhere god live nothing bad can happen there because god is a good god no sickness no pain no depression none of that is in heaven and so this morning we want to talk about heaven a little because you you got to look at the journey you got to look at you got to compare uh, uh, uh the the comparison the things that you got to go to and where are you going because if you look at the things that you got to go to you're going to have a breakdown and you don't you don't want to make it to heaven no more because it gets so difficult and it gets so hard because you are going to a fire. But you got to remind yourself this morning that when you get to heaven, there will be no more sickness. I, I'm going to read the Bible a little. And I want you to just tap the video um, share button and share this video. Because the Bible told us about heaven. In Revelation 21 and 4, And I shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more debt, neither sorrow, neither crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So when you get to heaven, there will be no more crying, no more tears, no more pain, no more depression, no more sadness. When you get to heaven, the Bible said the former things are going to pass away. It's simple telling you that you won't get sick again. No disease won't come up in your body. You won't have to go through poverty because all of that 
is going to be cast into the lake of hell. But in heaven, there will be peace, rest, joy, hope, abundance. And you got to remind yourself. Listen what Jesus said. He said in John 14 and 2. In my father's house are many mansions. And okay, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So God is saying, listen, in my house, Father Kingdom, there are many mansions. In my Father Kingdom, no mansion in the earth realm can compare to the mansion that God have. He said, in my Father Kingdom, these things that you're worrying about in the earth realm, he said, I got a better place for you. I got a better place for you in heaven. And I go to prepare a place for you because I'm coming back for you. And I'm going to receive you. And I'm going to take you with me. Hallelujah. I think you need to praise God. Good morning, Candice. That your hope is not just good morning, Jewish, whatever, you, Joel's, whatever your name. God bless you. Um, but I'm trying to tell you, your hope, good morning, Crystal, your hope is not in this world. And so many of us get pressed down, pressed out, feel like we want to give up because there is so much in this world. God is saying, when you overcome this piece of crap, this crappy life, okay? You going to go to a place of paradise. Hallelujah. You cry now. You go through pain now. You go through suffering now. But there come a day of paradise. Hallelujah. No more pain. No more sickness. No more devil to fight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen what Paul said. I'm going to read this. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The Bible said, I read John 3.60. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. So once you believe in God, you have access to the gate and to the door of heaven. Hallelujah. And once you believe that his son died. You are saved. And you got full access to heaven. Hallelujah. I want to tell you ladies and gentlemen. Many of you are going through pain right now. Going through sickness right now. Going through hard time right now. And the devil is fighting you. But I command the devil that he will not conquer you. Because you got the savior with you. Come on. Come on, come on, you got the Savior with you. And so you got to know that God went to prepare a place for you. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Listen what God had for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and 9. But as it is written, oh God, eyes have not seen. Oh, you can't see what God had for you, it's too big. Neither ears have heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. You cannot see it, you cannot touch it, but God of prepare uh, things to you that you cannot even imagine. And that place is it is part of that place is going to be heaven. Because when you get there, glory be to God. The things, I know you're going through hell now. You don't have to tell me. I know the devil is fighting this morning. I know that sickness trying to hit you and come up in your body. I know that. I know pain trying to take you out. I know the devil wants you to go back to smoking. But God said, I got better prepared for you. Hallelujah. 
you, 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 God have better prepared for all of you that are listening to me. Better what? He got a better life for you. A better hope for you. He got joy to give to you. And you know what? God have crowned, and I'm talking about crown of righteousness, crown of holiness. When I talk about crown, star in your crown, I'm not talking about the physical star, okay? I, I'm talking about, um, they, they actually is crown of righteousness, crown of holiness, and star of, uh, um, holiness, righteousness, and stuff. But God have something laid up for you. He said, highs have not seen. Hears I've not heard, neither it enter into the heart of man what God have prepared for you. It's bigger than you. Hallelujah. It's larger than you. It's huger than you. Hallelujah. And so you must understand that what God have for you is going to be you, yours. And Jesus said unto, this was the man on the cross. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I said unto thee, Today thou shall be with me paradise. You know, if you die today, you are going to paradise. I, I, I'm being real. Once you are in line with God, if you die today, I, I, and I know you ain't going to die now, but if you die, you are not like the world that don't have hope because you believe in Jesus and you come to the knowledge of the resurrection power that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You got hope. Come on, talk to me. Every one of you got hope. The devil don't want you to know that you got hope. And the thing is, the devil don't want you to blame him. And the devil don't want the world to believe that there is a devil. And the devil don't want the world to believe that there is a God. And the devil don't want the saint to blame him for nothing. So you got to understand that God said there is a hope for you if you accept me. Hallelujah. If you accept me. What's going on today? How are you looking at the price? At the price of God. That when I overcome this, you know, sometime you're at work, right? And you're thinking about just overcoming this hard day of work and just get out the office. And when you get out, you just come home and drop into the porch, uh, uh, the coach or something. And you just sit down and said, and drink some lemonade and said, Oh, thank God. Today was a rough day. Come on, be real. Have, have that ever happened to you? You come home and you just knock out and say, this was a, rough day today the boss got in my nerve and the devil was on my back and i'm sick but i i finished the day thank god that i finished the day and you just come home and you sit down and you just uh, fell asleep or you get something nice to drink and so when you finish this old race okay this 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 thing that that call running the race okay when you finish you're just gonna go to heaven and ju and just knock out and said oh god thank god i finished this piece of hell hole that i gotta go through with the devil in my back you just gonna fell out and you ain't gonna sleep but you're just gonna fell out okay and so uh, you got to understand you got to count the cost you know because sometimes it get hard it, it get really hard but when you go to heaven you can just uh job knock out in sleep in god chair and said god i'm in heaven now i'm i'm in heaven <laughs> i'm in heaven all of the hell that i gotta go through in this life of the pain the sickness the hell hole the 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 financial difficult the god i'm sh surely make it to heaven just show me where show me show me where show me where where is my my mansion show me where is my mansion and god said okay you see that that, that five bedroom over there is yours 
<laughs> you see, you see that that look uh, that pool in the back is yours. I mean, no pooling. I don't think a pool gonna be in heaven, but I, I'm just saying God is going to say this is yours to overcome this piece of junk. You know, the world is it, it, a lot of problem in the world. Be real, and so when you overcome, Hallelujah. And you make it to heaven. Heaven is a nice place. People don't talk about heaven. They preach all is talking about hell. Ah, and you gonna go to hell. No, no, no. Heaven is a nice place. The Bible said heaven, the streets are what? Filled with gold. I don't, I don't see you walking in gold down here. Come on, be real. You're walking and, um, um, mason work okay you are not walking in gold but heaven is a place that is filled with gold the street is made out of gold i, I mean your cup is made out of gold think about it even if, if you got a bed in heaven if you got a bed in heaven just imagine it and it make out of gold come on come on think about it I, i'm saying everything make out of gold and i'm trying to tell you that's the place that you're going to be so you gotta learn to make up your mind to fight this black uh, 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 devil that is on your back i don't know if he's black or white but whatever color he is you gotta learn to fight this devil because this devil don't want you to go to heaven and you gotta make up your mind that heaven will be my destination hallelujah so the bible said believe in him well verily verily uh, you shall be in paradise with me today that's what he told the man hallelujah hallelujah so listen what jesus said lay not up yourself treasure and earth we are mat uh, uh, and mud and rust does corrupt and where teeth break through and steal okay lay up your cell treasures in heaven okay where he say neither teeth come and steal that's matthew 6 and 19 jesus is saying listen in the earth realm if you lay up your treasures in the earth realm somebody can steal it but if you lay it up in heaven, nobody can steal it. Glory be to God. And so I want to tell you, it's time for you to start lay up some stuff in heaven. It's time for you to start depending on God. Hallelujah. Are you a cold signer with God? I just feel that. God just told me to ask you. I'm a cold signer with God. I think that's the word. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And so God have make agreement with me. Hallelujah. And the agreement is hallelujah. If I walk according to his word, he's going to bless me. Hallelujah. He's going to make a way for me. So did you sign a contract with God? Did you sign an agreement with God? And it don't matter what you go through this morning. I'm, I'm getting out of your face in just a little bit. I just going to pray for you in a little. But if you sign a contract with God, God can't break it. His word. God is bound to his word. And I sign a contract with God. I was adopted by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am a son of and a father will not allow his son to run out of food. Are you adopted? Are you adopted? Are you a son of God? I'm in the bloodline now. I'm a royal. Hallelujah. I'm royal. I'm so royal. I'm royal. I'm so royal. Be real. You too. You are royal than the queen in England. Because the queen in England don't have the royal DNA of Jesus Christ. I got the DNA of Jesus Christ. I'm royal. Oh, hallelujah. They call it the uh, whatever the, they call the palace in England. God palace is greater than the queen in England. And let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm in the royal blood line. Hallelujah. So all of these people that are talking about the king and queen down here, that's temporary. 
But when I get to heaven, Jesus, I'm going to be in the royal family. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm already in there. And so today I want to tell you, don't let the devil deceive you. Because heaven is going to be a place of rejoicing, a place of dancing, a place of praise, a place of glory. Hallelujah. 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 I want to read something. Hear what heaven is like. Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new hurt for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea hallelujah the simple tell us there will be no more sea that you can be drowned because you know a lot of people die out there in the sea there will be no more sea jesus is going to be the light of the world glory be to god i know the devil is trying to break up my computer and everything but i'm telling the devil is defeated Jesus is going to be the light of the world. The Bible said there shall be what? A new heaven and a new earth and the first shall pass away. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem. I feel God this morning. The new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven. Prepare as a bride. Oh, hallelujah. For her husband. Hallelujah. My God. And I heard a voice out of heaven. Say, behold, hallelujah. The tabernacle of God is with man. Oh, my God. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And be their God. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Have you listening to this? Have you listening to this? Glory be to God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more debt, neither sorrow, oh my God, neither crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, hallelujah. And he that sit up on the throne said, behold, I make all things new, hallelujah. And he said unto me, right. For these words are true and faithful. God said, I'm going to make all things new. All things new. The day come when you go into hallelujah. Somebody got a migraine. I don't know who it is. But I speak to that migraine right now. In the name of Jesus. And I command that migraine to go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Suta is gone. I decree and declare hallelujah. That there will be a new heaven. And every old things going to pass away. I thank God that God just heal you. But the, the thing that I'm rejoicing about. Is that my hope is not in this world. My hope is not in this world. So I go through problem. Yes you go through problem. But you must always remind yourself. That your hope is not in this world. This morning we want to pray for you. If you are going through. I told you somebody got a migraine. I don't know if it's Crystal. I don't know if it's Jacqueline. But I feel a migraine that God just lifting up off of somebody. And I decree and declare. That that migraine will not overpower you. Because God said by his blood. You are healed. And you are deliver you are set free and I break the chain of darkness from over your life in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare that the supernatural and the insight and the power of God shall touch you and heal you and heal you and heal you in the name of Jesus you got a prior request this morning 
early in the morning. You want to call in and give me a prior request? You got something you want God to do right now? You can dial that number. Okay, the number is actually, um, give me a minute, 646, I think. Um, I need to put it up on my wall. Um, the number is 646 four eight four eight nine six two if you need me to pray for you this morning if you feel like all hope is gone and you feel like you lose your joy lose your peace lose your love lose lose everything i just want to tell you this morning god love you man god god love every one of you and the enemy is a liar the enemy ain't gonna take my joy ain't gonna take my peace ain't gonna take my hope ain't gonna take what god give to me what god give to me belongs to me and i don't care how much hell i gotta go through how much fire i gotta fight true i believe that i am blessed i am prosperous i believe that i'm the head and not the tail the lender not the borrower i believe there is an overflow a double potion that's going to drop in my life in your life and so this morning i just want to encourage you man don't give up in god don't walk out in god don't step out in god because god have something set up for you your stepping stone is the stumbling block is going to be a stepping stone to the next level remember all of our destiny and destination is to make Make it to heaven and not about the things in the earth realm. The things in the earth realm are temporary. But I just want to tell you this morning that God love you so much. And there ain't nothing that you can give God for God to love you. God love you before the foundation of the world. Before the beginning of time. God ordain your life and predestinate your life with him. God know every failure that you was going to have. God know every failure that you have right now. God know everything that you have done wrong in your life. And God still love you and forgive you. And so this morning i just want to tell you heaven is your destination you've been stamped you've been approved to go on with god and to be saved and to be set free from the negative and the negative of this world i decree and decree and declare that you will have a positive mind a sound mind and step over into the supernatural step over into the power of god step over into the move of god because what god have for you is too big for you it's too large for you you cannot imagine it god said i'm getting ready to take you to a place that you've never been in before i'm getting ready to touch your heart and give you a heart of love and compassion that you will touch the world and change the world i heard god said in this season and this time fear not i'm with you fear not what the enemy is trying to do the weapon of the enemy is powerless the power of the enemy is powerless and god said get ready the enemy is defeated i'm going to take you to another dimension i'm going to establish you i'm going to do a new thing in your life and i'm going to let the enemy see it because i am god and there is none beside me there is none before me there is none after me i am the truth i'm the vine i am the branches and god said get ready i'm getting ready to give you amazing blessing an amazing turnaround in your finance and you've been going through a lot but i want to tell you that god said i'm gonna open the door that the enemy closed because the enemy have closed some door in your life and told you that's it there is no hope there is no way to come out but i decree and declare in this season that you will come out by the power of god because god is about to open a door in the heaven that will pour you out a blessing a door that you enter in is a secret door that no witch can stop you no palm reader can stop you no voodoo can stop you no witchcraft can stop you get ready because god is going to take you to a next place a next level a next dimension i prophesied over your life that you shall not die but live to declare the words of the lord and the glory of the lord i decree and declare that god is going to give you that more than enough and you are the head and not the tail i feel the anointing of god i decree and so if you got a prior request this morning and you want to call in i don't know if my phone is actually working but the number to call in is 646-484-8962 if you got a prior request and you need me to pray for you and i don't know but whatever you're going through i, I just need to talk to you this morning and tell you that God is still able and God is going to do it and God promise you i said forward for that you know forward still is jehovah will i believe that you are going forward and not backward i believe your setback gonna be a set up i believe your breakdown gonna be a breakthrough i believe your downfall gonna be your uplifting i don't care what the enemy do to you god is about to do something call her you alive call her you there Hold up. Call, are you there? Oh, uh, caller, please call back in a minute. 
I'm going to reboot this phone because just give me like 20 seconds. I'm going to reboot this phone because when you're calling, I was having like six different call. I think it's the service that I have. But um, I, I want to tell you this morning that you are the head and not the tail. Give me just two minutes and you can call in back. Two minutes and you can actually call in and let me pray for you. Two minutes. I'm rebooting this phone and it's a voice over IP internet phone. So, you know, sometimes they give problem. But I believe that God is about to do something new in your life. And just stay right there because I need to pray for a few of you this morning. Just stay right there. I need to, to actually tell you that God still got a plan for you. Lift your hands up and decree in the atmosphere that the plan for my life have not changed. Hallelujah. Only the direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to declare that over your life. The plan of my life have not changed. Hallelujah. Only the direction or the direction. Okay. Only the, 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 the pattern of change. The plan of the God for my life have not changed. Glory be to God. I said the plan of God for my life have not changed. Only the pattern, only uh, only the way I receive that and I believe that. I don't care what the enemy tell you. I know Satan is defeated. I don't care what he do this morning. You you can fight, old devil. You you can do whatever you want to do. But I know that God is the conquering lion, the child of Judah. And so call in. Now call it. You can call in back, please. Um, if you got a prior request, please call in back now. I don't know what the enemy is trying to do, but I believe that the enemy is defeated. Um, you can call in right now if you need me to actually pray for you. Call, are you alive? Are you there? I'm not hearing you. Call, call, are you there? I don't know, but... The enemy is lying. Caller, you there? Caller. I'm not hearing you. I guess this phone is giving a problem this morning. But call him. I'm not actually hearing you. So sorry about that. Maybe you can try one more time. I don't know if it's going to work. Um... I don't know what's going on with this phone, but I just say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Okay, now I think it's working. The blood of Jesus. I just, hey, how Shama. I decree, call back right now. I decree that the blood of Jesus. Call her, you there? Call her, you there? All right, this phone want to give a lot of problems this morning, so I won't. I'm going to try one more time. Call, are you there? Bless God, the devil is giving me all time this morning on the phone. Are you? What is your prior request? Um, my prior request is um, sending out my contract for my business, and I just want to say Hold on one minute. Caller, can you please wait for one minute? Are you there, caller? Hold on for one. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on. Hello? Hold on one minute, please. Okay. Yes, this phone is giving me a lot of problem. And so, thank you, caller, to call in. I want to pray for you this morning. Your business, right? You need to turn around in your business. Yes, all right, God bless you. Who is this? This sound like Crystal or Candy? It's Crystal. I'm sending out my contract this weekend. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. Far Koshima. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that there will be a supernatural breakthrough in our life. We bind every plan of the enemy and we cancel it this morning. We ask you now, Father, that you open the floodgate of heaven. Oh God, and let it rain upon our finance this morning. 
Father, all things are possible with you, God of Jacob, God of Isaac, the God of Abram, the God of Elijah. I decree and declare that there will be a supernatural impartation in our business. I pray that the angel of the Lord will come down and touch your finance. I cancel every assignment of the enemy. I cancel every spirit of darkness. I reverse every curse of the plan of the enemy I break every chain of darkness from over your finance Satan the blood of Jesus is against you I decree and declare that this woman finance is free Satan I cancel every spirit of stagnant nation every spirit that come to bound you and to bound your finance loose this woman finance in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that there will be a supernatural blessing in your finance, in your life, and a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare is done. Believe, believe God, believe God. Amen. Believe. Do you believe him that is done? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God love you. Call are you alive? Where are you calling from? From Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania! What do you yeah. need God to do for you? Because I know God is about to give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What's going on with you? I see the enemy try to attack your body. Yeah, um, actually not only body, but also um, financial. Yes. All right. Uh, Okay. Yeah, my, my husband and I, we are planning to move in Michigan because of financial problem here. So my husband is trying to apply in Michigan. So please, I need a prayer that God would touch. Do you need a job in Michigan? Yeah, my husband. All right. So you're moving too, right? Yeah, we are planning. Get ready because God is going to give you a miracle. I feel it. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, that before you move, you shall receive the job. I decree and declare that there will be a supernatural breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough in your finance. Hold on one minute. Um, hold on, caller, please. There will be a supernatural breakthrough in your finance. I decree and declare. That no more you shall be financially bound. And I hear the Lord said, if you're ready, you can receive. Do you want to show me? You sure you want to move? Amen. Yeah. All right. It's done. Believe God. It's done. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Who else is calling? Calling you alive this morning. Uh, caller, are you there? Caller, are you there? Okay, caller, please call back. I'm not hearing you. I, I thought you was there, but God bless you. Um, caller, are you there? All right. All right, so listen, I want you to believe God this morning. Okay, if you call me before, call me again. I don't know. Even my computer is frozen up this morning. I don't know, but whatever is happening over there, it's, 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 I can't stop it, you know, um, unless I get a better computer and a better, more memory. But um, whoever called, I think something wrong with this phone. I'm going to get a new phone because... When you call in, I'm not hearing you right now, okay? And this is not good. This is not good. Okay, so listen, I can pray for you. I, I'm going to actually do something real quick. Um, I want to pray for you guys this morning. So um, whoever is going through right now, I want to pray for you. Um, give me a minute. Drop your, please put your prior requests in the bottom of the page or whatever because 
the phone is not going through. I don't know why. I think the enemy this morning is just fighting because somebody's getting their breakthrough. But I pray right now. I pray over this phone. Fare koshima mama suta. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that every um, key, everything in this phone that is not working right, that it will come under your subjection and start a work in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so if you got a prior request, you can just put it in the box. I don't know, under the comment box, something. Because uh, the phone, it's totally this morning won't work the way I want it to work. So, um, maybe it's the enemy, but I think it's the enemy. But all of you that got a prior request this morning, I'm totally breaking up too. Um, I, over there is like the video is frozen and that's not good. You know, um, but what I'm going to try to do, hallelujah, is that, hallelujah, every, if you want to try to call in, you can, but I know this phone is giving problems, so um, you that's not, I'm not sure if you're going to get me, but um, everyone that called before and get me, grace be to you. I don't think it's the phone too much. I think it's the service, so because um, it's a brand new phone, it's almost a hundred and something dollars. For a phone, it's supposed to work, um, but I think it's the service. And um, hold on, um, I was receiving a call. Can you please call again? But um, I think it's the service. And so this morning, the phone are trying to stop you. Our, I want all of you to to just lift your hands this morning and said, in the name of Jesus, I command everything in my life to work. Everything in my life to work in the name of Jesus. Decree it in the atmosphere and it's done. Listen, I'm, I'm going to do this later on. I'm going to take out time for all of you later that I did not get your prior request now. I'm going I'm to I'm take out time later to pray with you. What I'm going to see is that if I can get this phone um, to a different service, and I'm going to actually take out time to pray with you later on, okay? So later, I will take out time to pray with all of you that I have not prayed for. And I will see if I can get this video to work better and stuff. Um, right now, I'm breaking up. I'm totally breaking up. So uh, thank you all of you that tune in and, and Facebook. Remember later, I will be praying with all of you that need me to pray for you. Uh, I want to teach a generation to be prior warrior. Okay. And so I will be praying for all of you. Thank all of you in Facebook. Thank you. We reach, I can't believe it. We got actually 11,189 like on our page. Please share our page with your friend. Please. I said our page. It's not my page. It's our page. Okay? It's all of us page. It's the gospel page. Okay? So please share your the page with your friend that more people can hear the word of God and more soul can be blessed. Remember, the phone is giving me problem now. Later, I will reprogram the phone and I will be on to pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. God totally bless you. The enemy is defeated. The enemy is defeated. Hold up. I'm having a call. Caller, are you there? Bless, bless the Lord. You lucky. I was just going to come off because the phone is giving me a problem. Okay, go ahead. Um, can you pray for my husband and I, please? Where is your husband right now? He's right here beside me. All right. All right. I'm going to pray for your husband. Glory be to God. Thank God for Jesus. Father, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there... Um, what is your husband's name? Andre. Andre. Okay. May I speak to him? Okay, hold on. How you doing, Andre? No, 
I see the enemy try to attack you. And some things that you try to, it's like you try to walk away from it. The enemy is trying to bring it back into your life. But I decree and declare that Jesus will cover you all the way. Yeah. All right, let me pray for you. Fariko Shema Sutai. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you release your supernatural over this man. We bind every plan of the enemy and we break every stronghold from around him. We pray God that you release your supernatural anointing over his life now. We root up every spirit of darkness and we reverse every curse. We ask you now Father that you cut and clear the way for him God. I pray right now in the spirit that every financial difficult that is going through Father that you will open the floodgate of heaven and let it rain down in him. Father God I pray that you touch his spirit. I pray mighty God that you touch his body. I pray mighty God that you touch his mind and release him financially. Hallelujah. Have you been going through financial difficult? Yeah. Alright. I pray that God bless you. You know just Keep your head up, man, and trust God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, so this actually, thank you to Colleen, actually will be joining you guys later. And so now is my time to go. Please share this page with somebody, 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 okay? Please, and later we will be on again praying and spending some time with God. God bless you. My Everything is not going the way I like it to go today. God bless you. With the phone system and the system, God bless you. Amen.